Hey everyone, here at the Animal Surgical Center, and it is a busy morning. It is 8.30. Um, I'm here to drop off Mozzie for his, he's having some kind of stem test done to check to make sure the Cushing's medication is working, and then he's uh, gonna have full blood work and a urine test. So, yes, he's getting a lot done. So they said it'd probably take about an hour, so I'm dropping him off and then picking him back up shortly. So um, I don't know, I, I doubt I'll have all the results uh, today, so I'll probably have to let you guys know um, in a couple days or maybe tomorrow. I don't know, I'll have to ask her. I'll have to ask her um, how long it takes to get that blood work back. So, and, and the doctor go over it. So Mozzie's quite, <laughs> Keep seeing all these doggies going in and out. He says, oh no, oh no. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll be back. Well, I'm on my way to go pick up Mozzie. Um, and I made sure I grabbed my gift. It's a box of, uh, I think they're shortbread cookies, Christmas cookies. Um, I got at Sam's Club and I put one of our Christmas cards on there. Um, thanking the staff for all they do for our pets. I know it's been a uh, crazy year with all they um, have to do with trying to keep everybody safe, um, getting the animals in and out of the surgical center. So um, just wanted to give them a little gift to show them my appreciation. And I wrote a little note to Dr. Pearson and to Dr. Degner. Uh, in the card, thanking them. Um, Dr. Pearson, of course, who sees Mozzie all the time. Uh, Dr. Degner, who gave me the great news this year that Miggy, when he did the CT scan, did not have to have surgery on his bladder. That the, um, whatever they saw in there uh, during the ultrasound was gone. And also to thank him for helping get Mr. Grant diagnosed with the cancer in the toe since it was missed uh, by a radiologist previously. Um, I thanked him for finding that and getting that toe amputated and making Mr. Grant, uh, helping him be pain free and a happy dog. So wrote them little notes on there too. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go get Mr. Mozzie. All right. We've been back from the vet for a little bit. Um, Mozzie did good. They got every, all the blood they needed, the urine they needed, and they said the results should be in tomorrow. Um, hopefully, um, uh, Dr. Pearson will um, have time tomorrow to call me when she gets on. Sometimes it takes her an extra day. Um, to, the, like the, today, they were busy. Monday is always crazy there. So, um, with everybody dropping off to get surgeries done and chemo or blood work or whatever it's crazy on monday so um hopefully she can give me a call tomorrow look at milo milo are you trying to get under the fence <laughs> must have been a squirrel <laughs> i just cleaned their faces too got home from the vet and decided i was going to clean the rest of the dog's faces because i cleaned mozzie's Milo, don't you dig. I cleaned Mozzie's face before we went. Figured I'd do everybody else's. Now he's putting his face right in the dirt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy dogs. Okay, so um, I wanted to, once I'm done out here cleaning up the landmines, I'm going to go in, share some Christmas cards I got, and a gift from Emily. All right, guys. We'll be back in a second. All right, guys. Um, I thought before I shared the Christmas cards, I'd share with you what Mozzie had done today. And hopefully, um, you can read that there. I don't want to go too close to the camera because it may get out of focus. And then on the other side there is how much it costs. So that was our bill for today. When I went to pay, they said I had an outstanding invoice. Um which was from last time he went when he had his Cushing's 
um, am I showing that? I think so. His Cushing's um, test, they also did a liver panel and they didn't have it on my bill, so I had to pay that too. So a grand total today, <laughs> yeah, $541. I hope this is filming the correct way where you can read it. Because the way I'm looking at it, filming it, it looks backwards. So, um, yeah, so Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, got to do what we got to do to keep him healthy for as long as we can and keep all those numbers um, right. Um, okay, so I wanted to share some cards I got. This one here is from Erica. Pretty, pretty card. Um... Let me keep them with the envelope so I got the addresses right. So I can mail. I gotta order some more cards. You guys I didn't think I'd get as many cards as I've gotten. This one is from David, Brenda, and Sophie. Pretty. Um, thank you. And then this one here is from Nan and Randy and Lindsay. It's adorable. Thank you. And then we got this one here from uh, Steve and Cheryl and the gang. And look at this. I wish my dogs would let me put hats on them. They just hang their head in shame when I put hats on them. Here's a picture of them on the back. I shouldn't say them. Steve and Cheryl. I'm sorry. Steve and Cheryl. And then there's another picture in here. Adorable. See, I got they got their heads up all nice and proud. My boys just hang their heads like, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, next. This one is from Gail. And she sent me uh, a letter. And I'm going to read that here shortly and write you back. The pretty red truck. Thank you. And then this one says, A Christmas as big as Texas on the front and this is from Kimmy my family used to call me Kimmy when I was younger thank you so much and then we got this one here from the Bledsoe family and they also sent a picture of their Milo who is a schnoodle and they named their Milo after my Milo so adorable. Look at that curly hair. <laughs> Thank you for the card and the photo. And then we got another card here from Eve, Randy, and Pups. Pretty picture. I hear we're supposed to see, uh, I can't remember, but something like planets are going to align or something's going to happen. We're supposed to see a really bright star tonight. It's the 21st today. Supposedly, you're supposed to check it out 45 minutes after sunset. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm going to have to Google that and find that out. Um, okay, and then we got another card from Chuck and Darlene. Pretty, pretty Christmas card. Thank you guys so much for sending me Christmas cards. Um, this one I had to share. This is from my husband's. One of his clients that he sold the house to, my husband is a very personable person and a lot of his clients become friends and he gets invited to uh, birthday parties, weddings, everything. They become friends. So they sent a Christmas card and they are St. Bernard uh, lovers. And this is their two St. Bernards. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, I'm not a fan of drooly dogs. <laughs> What are you crying for? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, this is what's going on. What's out there? Did you? <laughs> Milo. 
He screams. The most screechiest scream. There must have been a squirrel. They must have been looking out these windows right here. The squirrel, like I said, the squirrel, did I say that already? I can't remember. The squirrels have been going nuts. Burying nuts. <laughs> yes. No, no. It's not time to play ball. I'm trying to I'm trying to film a video. I'm trying to film our um cars and stuff. You guys are being obnoxious. Can you guys see in my trees here? See all the squirrel nests? There's one here, one here, and then there's one, wait, there's one up there in this tree. Yeah. And of course, the little red squirrel that's living in our shed, in the uh, attic part of the shed. <laughs> Can you believe that that many squirrels would want to live around seven schnauzers? Yes, they're crazy. They're about as crazy as you guys. Yes. All right, let's go back in. I'm going back in, so no, no, it's not time to play. We already played. We already played. All right. Oh my goodness, now my cat's in my sink. Kitty! <laughs> oh, here comes Grant. Grant, you wanna go out too and see what the crazies are doing? You wanna go see what they're doing? Do you wanna come out and see what they're doing? No? You just heard the commotion? You wanna come out? Grant, you wanna go out? No. <laughs> he just had to see what the commotion was about. Okay, so. Anyways, they sent a picture, a Christmas card with their St. Bernard's. Being lazy on the couch, being lazy on the bed. <laughs> and their names are Moose and Walker. And here they are back here too. So cute. So cute. Isn't it funny that when some people, they can have a multitude of different breeds of dogs or they just stick with one breed of dog. Uh, like me with my schnauzers. And I know a lot of you with schnauzers. Yep. All right, are you coming in? Are you coming in? I got to show them Emily's present that she sent. Okay, good, good. My, oh, Milo's, Milo's going potty. Okay, let's show you what Emily sent. It's awesome, you guys. I was so blown away when I opened it. I have not put it out where it needs to go yet. She sent me a card. Another one of those schnauzer tree. It looks like a schnauzer tree. Christmas card. She sent me a schnauzer weather vane. Look at this. I don't have it together. Look at that, you guys. Let me um wait for Milo to get in, and then I'm going to try to put it together so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. Um. I'm gonna put it together and lean it up against the wall. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the weather vane put together. Let me show you what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? I can't remember how tall it said it is. But here's my question about it. Should I put it out in the winter or wait till the spring? I was reading the um, back of the paper that came with it. It says it's made of a 16 gauge steel. Um, it's covered with copper colored powder coat paint, baked on paint, care instructions, clear coat. Um, clear coat over the paint. So does that mean I have to put clear coat over the paint? Is that what's gonna protect it if I have it outside? Says you need to oil it at least once a year. Do not pound the, oh yeah, well that, I can see where you're not gonna pound on the steel pin, but yeah, I don't know. There's a phone number. Here's the company who makes them. Um, I think I need to call them and ask them. Cause the way I'm reading this is that I need to clear coat it. So I need to find that out before I put this outside because I don't want to ruin it. So um, once I get it outside, I'll, whenever I do get it outside, um, I don't know if I want to put it out in the winter. But if they tell me if I clear coat it, 
or have someone clear coat it because I'm not the greatest at that. <laughs> if I clear coat it, maybe I can put it out in the winter. Not sure. I need to find that out. I'll let you guys know in the next uh, video. There. Look at them. If there's nothing out there, I'm not letting you No. No. I see nothing. Oh, there's a little squirrel. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, he already went down. That little red squirrel. Oh, there it is. It's up in the branch up there. Can you see him? Bounce around, see him? <laughs> they must have seen that out the window. This is what's been happening uh, the past couple days. In, out, in, out, in, out. Crying, crying. Scream, scream, scream. Magnum, you gonna whine? You guys are just gonna sit there and whine? Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> minutes since I just let him out. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. They are the craziest dogs. Oh well, it's working their minds, right? Working their minds and it's not that cold out today. <laughs> oh, all right guys, I'm going to um let you guys go. Um, hopefully by my next video, uh, which will be probably, what is today? Today's Monday. Probably going to do one more video Wednesday. Hopefully I'll know Mozzie's um, test results by then. I will share whatever cards I may get um, on Wednesday. I'll share in that video. Um, and then I probably won't have another video until after Christmas. So... Um, hopefully I can find out from that company what I, what I've got to do with that weather vane because I do not want it to get ruined. Um, if I put it outside in the winter, I want to make sure it's not going to, um, get ruined. So I probably can just go clear, get clear coat myself and do it. I'm just <laughs> kind of nervous. My husband has a friend, um, who's a real handyman. So maybe I'll have him do it. <laughs> I'll ask him to do it for me. So, all right, guys. We'll see you guys um, hopefully Wednesday um, and I'll have some news on Mozzie. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.